What's up, K-Influencers? I'm your mentor for the day. My name is Rachel Kim from the YouTube channel Rachel Kim. My channel is about K-beauty, culture, lifestyle, and vlogs. It's about my life in Korea. And I'm Mimi from the channel Culture Korea. My channel is about my experiences here in Korea, as well as K-culture in the UK and Malta. I'm also a K-influencer, just like you. So, shall we introduce our roles for today? Sounds great. Just like our last episode, the show features two guests, a mentor and a mentee about a specific theme to give feedback on videos from fellow K-influencers. We will be discussing how to film, edit, make highlights, and even more. And I will be asking questions on behalf of the viewers. Mimi, the weather is turning really cold these days. That's right, autumn is almost over in Korea. Do you know how we talk about the season autumn in Korea? Mm, I have no idea. We call autumn as the weather of reading. Refreshing breeze with the blue sky, it's definitely a perfect weather to read. Do you have any favorite books? I think my favorite book is Finding Your Element by Sir Ken Robinson. I like this book because it's about finding your passion in life, also making that a central part of your life and also a career if possible. It helped me a lot actually when I was at a point in my life when I had to decide which career to choose. I was already doing a job which wasn't very happy for me, but this book really helped me discover that my passion should be a central part of my life. So I highly recommend it. <laughs> Sounds like a really nice book. Okay. What about you, Rachel? Mine would be The Girl on the Train. Oh. It's a thriller. Oh. You need to be able to handle the tension. I'm not going to spoil anything, but <laughs> I read the book from cover to cover okay. in a very short period of time because I just couldn't put it down. I had wow. to figure out what happens to the main characters. Binge reading then. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It sounds really interesting. I'd definitely like to give it a try. Yeah, and please let me know what I you will. think about it. <laughs> now, it's time to watch videos from K influencers. Before we get into it, let me explain the rules first. We get to choose different topics every week and we're going to be choosing five videos from the participants and give feedback on each video one by one. If we see any good points in the video, we're going to be raising the up sign and the down sign if there is something that can be improved. Please note that you won't get any extra advantage or disadvantage due to those up and downs. And the topic for today's video is... Lifestyle! We've got so many videos from our K-influencers as lots of influencers are focusing content on lifestyle. So shall we see the highlights of the five videos chosen for the day? A little bit when I filmed this, but it got really sunny. This is the kind of food we eat during monsoons in India. You have probably been waiting for this time when you will be able to wear your fancy spring clothes. Throw away your winter clothes and put on your skin. In the northeastern side of South Korea, it is one of Korea's most beautiful mountains and it's also the third highest mountain in South Korea. When you go Wow, they are all incredible. Let me see from the first. The writing on the thumbnail is a bit small and mm -hmm. a little bit blurred, so do you have any advice on thumbnail design? When I choose which video to watch, I usually click on the ones that shows what the video is about. Mm -hmm. And if the title on the thumbnail gives extra information on in addition to what the title says, that's the one that I usually go for. So I would care a lot more on what it says. And if it shows better, that would be even better. I really like the style of this video, the music and also the personality 
of the content creator. Yeah, I also really agree with you. Like I like her personality. She's inviting. She's always smiley. Yes, right. And that makes me want to listen to what she has to say in exactly. the video. Okay, another good point. I really like how she puts lots of pictures and videos in her video because it helps us to understand what she's talking about. I agree with you and it keeps it fresh as well, doesn't right? it? Right? It makes the video as a quality content that way. I agree. Okay, another good point. I seem to really like her. Well, I'm learning a lot. After watching this video, I'm a different person. <laughs> I like watching videos that change me. I appreciate for that. Now, next is Mom's One down point. I don't know if you're reading off of the subtitles. It's nearly impossible to read off of your subtitle because it's too small. It is a little bit. I was like... Mm. If somebody is, has to rely on the subtitles, then yes. it's gonna be almost impossible. It's like tiny. What about the audio then? Okay, here's another down sign. I noticed that the volume yeah. throughout the video is kind of unbalanced. The music is too loud. Personally, when I edit my own video, I tend to put on my earplugs and then listen to the whole video to see if I frown at some point because the volume is too loud. And then I adjust the volume to the adequate amount. That's such a good advice, yeah. really. I thought it was a very natural video and it was so much fun. It had me giggling the whole way through. So shall we watch the next video then? Yeah, let's do it. Cool. Okay, I have to mention this. She is so natural. Really? Did yes. you notice? Like yes. the way she poses in front of the camera, she's not awkward at all. Agree. Can be a model. I, I was just thinking, I think she is a model. Yeah, right? She's so natural. She is so confident and her outfit is cute. Definitely. Well, the video is not short. If she's gonna just keep showing us her different outfits and poses. Uh, what I want to see more from her is her explanation on her each outfit. I want to know why she picked the white shirt and why she matched the skirt. But if she is gonna just keep showing her different outfit, then it's like a very long six minutes of music video. So I have a question. Wait, so yeah. what do you think if we had maybe a voiceover? Amazing. That's yeah. what I need. That's what I want. I like to know <laughs> the intent behind her decision making. I want to download her confidence software <laughs> in my system. <laughs> I mean, she's killing it. She is. Um, yeah. I love that she's introducing so many different styles, mm -hmm. but I would also like to know from her where she would wear the outfit. Yeah. To wear. With her voiceover. And I mean, she's got a good figure. Everything suits her. She's chosen really well for her body shape as mm -hmm. well. So I think it's really, really good. Yeah, that's my good point. Oh. <laughs> I think that was a video where you can really feel the theme of lifestyle. Mm, I agree. So, shall we watch the next video? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Hola, ¿qué tal? Lindos y lindas. Bienvenidos a un nuevo video. Si eres nuevo por Okay, Mimi, check out her description box. Oh. This is super long. I love it when the description box is full of information. Can you see? We yes. can just go for her Instagram, vlog. I love when description box is full of useful stuff that I cannot just get from the video right away. I have a question about that. <gasps> Please. Do you prefer those links to vlogs and social media to be in the description box or in the video itself? Well, in my case, the way I do it is I put those links in my description description box especially oh. when it comes to my Instagram I put it on the very first line because I want to build the connection like the relationship with the viewers you know the thing about description box links is that people who want to click on the links can click it you give them the ownership the freedom right. so I like it that way here's the information <laughs> Oh, here's my up point. Yes. She has this great energy. I mean, she makes us all so happy and I love people who give those positive energy to other people and she has that. I want to keep watching her. Same. Okay, here's my one 
down point. It's not a big deal. So I hope she doesn't get this the wrong way. But when I first clicked on the video, I was really interested because the topic is super interesting. But then I had to wait for wait, how many minutes? What she was talking about was super interesting. But as a person who was dying to get to know what the exercise routine was about, it was a bit a tad too long. I mean, she does offer those timestamps, but still. I was about to say that the video itself has timestamps in it, which I think is a really good point. Yeah. And also she has different topics, which mm -hmm. makes it a lot easier. So I think that's a really, really good point about that video. Um, I get those comments a lot too. Rachel, you always talk so much. Just get to the point. I get those questions a lot too, but I get her because I always have so much to say. To build the relationship with your viewers, talking a lot can be a good strategy. I think the positive energy really came to me too. It was a really, really good video. I really look forward to the next video too. Yeah, Shall we watch it? This season literally makes the whole of Korea turn into a color palette. Okay, I love the intro. I second that. <laughs> It's really good. She's really friendly. She is. Yo, what's up people? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Okay. I thought that was just about the intro, but we've been watching her a minute or two in and she is still friendly and she is feels like just one of my friends. Great personality. Yeah. Great smile. And she is also very informative. Mm -hmm. The video is yeah. giving us lots of information. Thing where they have this open air screening can i just say one more thing this is a down point i'm sorry but just because i love your content so much and you've got this great youtube personality i want to say it might be a time for you to invest in a better camera or a better microphone because i can tell that this video is looking very very natural and this is great as it is now but if you just upgrade your camera gear a little a little a little bit so in this case if you don't have perhaps the money to buy a good microphone or mm -hmm. this kind of gear because we all know how expensive it's good gear expensive. is right yeah. what is your advice in this mm. case to get good audio using a better audio or a better microphone is an easier way to improve your audio but if you can't do it just put your phone closer to your mouth so that it doesn't really create background noises Korea. When you go hiking, you can see. The I held up the down point again. We almost watched the whole video, but there is only one background music. It's repeating. There are different segments in this video, and if you change your music depending on to each different segment, then it's gonna be refreshing and it's gonna capture your audience's focus again. Just let them know right away. Hey, you guys, I'm talking about different things. I like listening to different music depending on different topics of the video. This video was really, really helpful. It really was. But believe it or not, mm -hmm. we're now down to our last video. What? No. Yes. Shall we check it out together? Sure. Let's do it. This is 100%. I absolutely admire her efforts. Ah. I'm she gonna share that with this. you. <laughs> I know how hard it must have been to film this one, to edit, mm. put together all the footages and make it into one great music video. Respect. Okay, all points on her acting skill. So cute! She can really be music video star. Agreed. She can be the star of a K-pop music video. Agreed. Yeah. Okay, I am really careful of this action of holding the down sign. It's a trivial thing, but there are some scenes that were a bit shaky. It's not a big issue, but it's just a, I don't know, a dot in a masterpiece that we can just shrug it off. But if you want to make it for real, then you're gonna fix that. But I still think it's a great video. Uh, yeah, I, I want to know what's the best way. How can you get all those different angles? What are the tips for something like a kind of problem where you have all of these different angles? The best solution mm -hmm. in this situation would be having your own videographer. Great. But if you are alone, then I'd say utilize every gadget you have. And I noticed that um, <laughs> she has a videographer there. She is filming with her friend. 
and yeah, that's how she did it. Yeah, I'm giving her a really big thumbs up yeah, for the editing, especially too. look at this one here. These kind of videos that you are gonna be proud of later in the years too. Sure. There you go, like you have a nice video. Wow, we've already seen the five videos of the day. The time went so fast. I agree. Rachel, I have one final question. Please. When making lifestyle videos, mm -hmm. what do you think is the most important thing to keep in mind? Hmm, I think keeping it real would be mm. the number one key. Keeping it real. Always be yourself because that's the way you can keep doing what you love to do. I mean, everyone's personality and lifestyles are different, so mm -hmm. that's gonna make your video unique, right? Right. So that's, I think, a really great advice. Now, let me ask Mimi a question. Oh, sure. You know this is signature question in Up and Down Corner. Mimi, what does Korea mean to you in three words? Tradition, coffee, and metamorphosis. So the first one, tradition. I'm someone who really loves traditional culture and also the traditional crafts. So when I think of Korea originally and even now, the first thing that always comes to mind is anything to do with the tradition of this beautiful country. Second one I think might be a little bit obvious, mm -hmm. coffee. I mean, when I came for a trip to Korea and now I live here as well, the amount of coffee that's consumed in this country is unreal. And the amount of amazing theme cafes that you have in Korea, which by the way, we don't have in my countries. And the third one is a very personal one, and I use the word metamorphosis. Metamorphosis refers to a change, change in shape or a transition. And I feel like before I came to Korea, I was a caterpillar. And actually Korea really helped me flourish and become this butterfly, discover a new passion. Korea itself went through a lot of changes in history mm -hmm. and was able to change and adapt. That was beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> wow, I can really feel you thought about it a lot. I did. <laughs> it was a great honor for me that I could help so many K-influencers today. Not so many, just five, but still. Mm -hmm. I hope my feedbacks were effective enough to improve your videos. Thank you for sending them out. I'm also really grateful that I could assist you today Aww. and be part of this show today as a K-influencer myself as well. If you liked our video, don't forget to subscribe to K-influencer. We have more useful and interesting videos just like this coming up. Also, it is last episode of Up and Down next Aww. week. Can you believe that? No. But I'm already looking forward to next topic of Up and Down and your cool videos. Agreed. Mm -hmm. See you on next week's Up and Down. Bye! Bye.